Travel plans to China have all... The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of Western China. Psychoprin? Fire in the sky. Yeah. Woohoo. A perilous ascent. Hey guys, and welcome back to a new episode of Sly Cooper and the Fetus Rock Kunis. The last episode, last episode, we finished up Miss Ruby's area. In this episode, we're doing the Panic King's area. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I just showed you the cutscene without me talking. Like, you know, it's kind of the first episode where I've done that. Usually it's like the other way around where I talk first before I do start the game. But, you know, you know. Try different new things, but anyway, this is actually the first stage in the Pan King's era and stuff like that. Which is an amazing level, and everything. Just is it's it's been it's been quite some time since we've been here. I mean, it's been a few years since since I've been here because you know, in my normal original let's play of this game. But yeah, like this this is look at this these guys are scared of us. These monkeys are scared of us. Has this little can of baby? Has this baby one? What's this baby one look like? One ton. Monkey Spermium? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, oh, it's moving. Oh, it's moving. Oh, well. You, you may die. <laughs> you may die. I love that. But yeah, here's a cutscene with Bentley up here with by the checkpoint. Would you look at that? A fireworks show! Control is actually vibrating. <laughs> that's, that's pretty great. Oh my gosh, that's awful! That poor village just got buried in freezing snow! The rocket came from that giant statue. And you can bet the Panda King lit the fuse. I've gotta find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. We have we have we have a villain who basically destroys towns. Yeah, that's bad. We definitely need to stop him. You can see why you can see why you know Sly's the good guy here. Basically basically you have a guy who's basically he's using fireworks to to kill people. Like basically a whole like genocide, basically. But like, like, oh my god, that's bad. What? I love, I love, I love, I love how we can like see, like see down there. Hold on, oh no, I guess we can. Like, look, look, we can see where we were. Like, that's where we were. Like down there. That, that just, that just looks amazing. Like, just the level design in this level. But I, like, I also love the snowy mountains in this area. Like pretty cool and like I love how they have like this whole like the icicles coming down you had to sneak and everything which is pretty cool and it pretty cool levels I mean a sugar punch sugar punch creates amazing game well, I had to watch it like you do have to watch out for the icicles you gotta be really careful though watch out move out move 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 there you go yep there's that and then these it's weird like th I guess this, these enemies are using their own children basically as no as no as no, as like you know, bowling balls made of snow, or snowballs like giant snowballs, but like bowling size. <laughs> like, dude, what's up with the Panic King? You know, and having its enemies, you know, doing suicide and stuff like that, or genocide. <laughs> like, what is up with that? But oh, oh, I forgot, to I forgot to show you. I also have a, also, we also got the invisible technique, cause like once we beat, when we, when we beat. We, when we beat Miss Ruby, we lock in the invisible, invisible, so we can like stay invisible. We can't walk. Sadly, we can't walk with it right now. But uh, basically, we can like go invisible and do that. Like so, the guys don't see us, and, which is pretty amazing. Like imagine, like, but yeah, like that's basically a move that we unlocked. I kind of wish we locked it earlier in the game, 
So like, basically, cause like, well, I mean, it's like Cooper's a short game, so it's not that big of a deal. But like, it's one thing I just wish that I, that like some of the moves like you don't learn, you learn so late and stuff like that. But uh, but like, it's still a really really cool move and good to use. But I had to be sneaky right here, cause you don't want to be kind of flashlight. Be really careful. Sneak up here. Yeah, sneak up here and hit the fireworks. Boom. Nice. <laughs> Man, there's a lot. There's a lot of clues right here, by the way. <laughs> but just get out of the coins. Ah, there goes the fireworks. Boom. Now come down here. There's actually the vault right there, but we only have we, don't, we only got half the clues. <laughs> Missing quite, missing quite a bit of clues. Hopefully, I'm not missing one. I, th I, I mean, there's a bunch of clues over here, though. Boom! I think Blizz is also a uh, gonna get some right here. Hold on, I'm gonna get these clues real quick, and then just gonna Bentley. You can't get through the security gate without one of the Panda King's treasure keys. There's one over there, but it's heavily guarded. One key coming up. Oh boy. But yeah, this is this is an interesting uh, section right here where we can use the invisible technique. Everything you have to watch out. Like it's pushing us. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah, I had to watch out for that. Thing is, the thing is, look, if the guards see us or hear us, we don't go invisible that much. You know, we can also just pass these guys up by a bunch. Bam! Bam! <laughs> Kill you. Kill you. Haha, <laughs> we can get a click click key though. Key's right here. Man, this 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 I love, I love how you can just use the invisible. I love how you can like just go straight for the key and like just and everything take out the guards or you can like, you know, go a bit or you can also go on the wall and go around on the wall, which is pretty great when you think about it. Man. Oh, we might be missing some clues. Hold on, is there any more on the wall? I see a bunch on the ground, so, uh, ooh, geez. Ah, boom! Oh god, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Watch out. I think, I think I might have gone into them all. Oh boy. This nice guy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Go on over here. Boom! That's the. I think we got every. I think we got all all the guards. I think we got all the clues too, unless we're missing one. Oh, we're missing one. Please, please don't. I don't want to miss one. Oh boy, I don't want. To, oh shoot, I hope I don't miss one. Let's see if it's still around here anywhere, because I don't want how to cut. Hmm. Please don't pawn missing a clue. Oh god. Oh, there it is! There it is! There it is! Thank God, just right here. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Let's see, like, like, that's good that we got it right there, though. So, uh, I thought I was, I thought I got all the clues. But anyway, let's unlock the vault. This one is actually love. Press the circle, circle turn to the, the vault code. I got a real headache figuring this one out. Input five seven eight. Five seven eight. What we, what we unlock. I love the music though. This just gets better and better. I'd always heard that one of your southern ancestors, Huckleberry Cooper, developed a technique to move while staying invisible. Hold down the circle button to turn invisible, then move around with the left analog stick. But yeah, it's the nice the nice thing about collecting all the volts before unlocking the invisible is like the first level of pancake area, and you've gotten all the volts be before then. You can like you can move while staying invisible. It's, it's really slow. You can see it's really slow. But if you go the fast route, we can go like this. That's with the fast on. Without, that's without, with on. Like it's not that fast, but like, but yeah, like it's not. It's nice. It's nice to have, especially like later later on that we need it. Like there's some levels where having the invisible walk makes it a lot easier <laughs> and everything. So yeah, that's that's awesome. We got invisible walking now, which is pretty great. Kind of wish it. Kind of wish you unlocked it. Be kind of wish it came with it. But oh my god, this the music in this area is pretty great. Like just the 
Like, look at the winter level. Like, this is just, oh, this is just perfect because, like, it's December. So, uh, when this video, during the, during the, oh, God. <laughs> but, anyway, yeah. Nice job breaking into the Panda King's compound. I think I've figured out a way to get to the top of that giant statue. But, unfortunately, it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. But yeah, basically, basically, it's December, so like, so like, it's definitely panicking. Man, but man, yeah, yeah, he had the, he had the, he had a uh, so then panicking toward him. But yeah, this this lo this area just looks good for uh for you know for December and stuff like that. I, I just love I just love the invisible. But anyway, let's do the unseen foe. I'm gonna do the no more normal levels real quick. But yeah, oh my god, this look. I know I said this about Mr. Ruby, but like I love <sighs> man. It's also I love I do also love the winter time sometimes uh, quite a bit though too. So like. It's amazing, and it's actually been snowing quite a bit lately, this so it's looks nice. Like a good place to try out your new invisibility move. Hold down the circle button to wow. drop out of sight. But yeah, I just nothing can see you. wait. Not lasers, not searchlights, not guards. Oh, and if the guards already see you, then the invisibility trick will work on them. Ah, uh, let's. Okay, now we have to sneak right here. Sorry, I kind of been interrupting a lot in this video. <laughs> But like you know Bentley and like the Panda King and all that, but uh, but yeah, basically, winter winter is pretty great. I actually do like winter. I prefer I do prefer over summer, but I mean like also live in the south, so it's like not that bad. Like the winter is not that bad here. So like, only if I if I lived in like Michigan or like like Alaska <laughs> or something like that, I would I would love I would I would only if I would hate it. I don't know, like, cause like. Thing is, I live in the south, so like it's not it doesn't get that cold. I mean, it can. Like, I mean, we did have like a we did get snow like the other day and stuff like that, and it had a pretty big snowstorm and all that. But like, but even even then, it was only, it, even then, it only got down to like like I think twenty in the twenties and stuff, which is pretty cold. But like, it's not like you know, ten degrees or like single digits. <laughs> it's not like single digit level. But like it's it's still pretty cool. Just oh wow, I felt I jumped for that in. I jumped for that in. I <laughs> oh wow, I don't know why I did that. But yeah, uh, base. But yeah, just went to world. Amazing. At least at least in the south it is because it's not super cold. It's not super cold, but it's not like war that warm either because it's, also, it's still also the winter time. So uh, I mean, it can be pretty warm during the winter winter. Cause I I've seen it where it got pretty warm here and everything. It's, it, that does suck sometimes. That's one thing I don't like about summer. It gets super warm here. Like, oof. W w summers are brutal here, but like, we have pretty good winters, so, which is nice. Nice and stuff. But I know there's places that have like, winter that are like, oof, really bad. But at least, but it's nice. But we do get a snowstorm once in a while. Like, I know there's places that like, don't get snow at all, or like, maybe once a year, but like, I mean, we, sometimes we do get, what times we get snowstorms on like once a year, but like, I know there's places in part of the country that don't even get snow at all, or like, or anything, so, but like, thankfully we do get snowstorms, but like, it's not that common, so, uh, like, so did we, but you know we only had two this year, which is kind of funny to think about, like, we only had, well, one was Ice Storm, which was actually back in late, late October, we had a, like, pretty big Ice Storm, and then we also had a snowstorm recently, so, uh, but yeah, so that's cool, and we actually cut quite a bit of snow, too, I think we had a few, I think we had a few inches and stuff like that, so, uh, so yeah, there's that. I know it's not like a foot of snow, like a bunch, some other places, but it's still amazing. Actually, you can do it two different ways. You can do it this way, like this. Boom! Or we can just go, or we could have done it where we go up here, and then, like, jump, sneak over here and jump down, and then jump down from there, but uh, I didn't, so, you know. I mean, there's different ways to do stuff and everything, so, yeah. Checkpoint! I think if I should do the... Oh, 
Wow, that failed. <laughs> oh boy, I had to watch out for lasers though. <laughs> that really didn't, that was not good. What are you for, Willy? Boom, yeah. 27. There's the hook. Boom. I think I think we got I think we got all the clues. There's only three left, so boom. Yeah. Destroy. Yep, I think that's all the clues. That should be all the clues. Cause I know I think I know where the last one is. It's up it's up to the very top. Bam! Destroy that card. Where the keys down here though. Sly, this pagoda is some kind of huge gunpowder production plant. Judging by the scale. The Panda King must be making tons of explosives! But here, here, here's the vault right here. Press the circle to enter the vault code. Code. It was a challenge, but this vault's combination has got to be 667. Six, six, six. Ah, oh, so close to 666. Six, six, six. <laughs> Again. <laughs> 63%. Oh, we almost did 64%. Kitty will be happy once we get 64%. Incredible. Big it to you. I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Spikes Cooper's suck. technique to briefly defy gravity. From now on, you should be able nice. to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into. And you won't even lose a lucky charm. That's pretty great. Like, I know it's super late, but like, that's pretty great. But basic, basically, what's this? Ah, oh. weird! Let's <laughs> see. Bang! Wait, hold on. So, uh, decoy, dive. Bam! <laughs> hey! Yeah, basically, basically, if we fall like that, we don't lose lucky charm, which is pretty, which is pretty good. But like, <laughs> kind of wish we need, could have used Dola on the game, but you know, by the dodge these lasers, boom, 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 and boom. Oh, sorry. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I thought I thought we could have the, the key there the first try, but still worked. Still works. Seventy minutes. You know what that means, Ashley. Ashley, Ashley, let's do. Ashley, let's do this one. Let's do the shorter one, the King of the Hill. Let's do that one. It's a mini game, so let's end up with the mini game. End end up with, end with a mini game. Murray's all fired up to make the run for the key. While on the blasting station, use the left analog stick to aim and the square button to fire. Right on. I'll keep him covered. Yeah, let's do this. Basically, basically, we had to protect Murray. Time to move. From Spine. like, you know, guards and stuff. This is another one of the shooting mini games. Go ahead and come out of there. Give me one over here. Boom. Hey. The next one's over here. Oh, we can shoot the fireworks. Because the fireworks allows us to, you know, have that go down. Uh, I believe the other one, two's gonna come over there. Or one over, sorry, one's gonna come over there. Two's gonna, oh, one, one's, yeah, one's come that way. Ah! No, I almost missed that guy. Okay, they come from both sides. Oh, okay, they come in all three directions. Okay, come on. Okay, then another one's gonna. Oh, jeez. So I'm trying to predict where they come from. I know there's gonna be one from right there, or not? Oh, there's gonna be right here. There you go. Where is it? There's gonna be one come from there, wasn't there? Yep. Can we shoot? The, can we shoot that? No, we can't. Yep, yeah, halfway, good job. Like literally right there, he's going halfway. Boy, what's that this guy that's coming up with the bowling ball? He's basically committing suicide to his children. Oh, I did hit the firework. And that giant thing just comes down. You know what's weird that bill that she that Murray can just go up go like ooh what flash that can just go up like up there, but you know. Is there two right here, or just one? Oh, there's the two. There's the two. Oh, there's the one that was. And now, now, where are you going, Murray? Now there's the there's the key. But what happens once we reach the key? 
No. Oh, there's an alarm. There's one guy over there. Up here, like, geez, look, like, look at all these flashlight guards just come running, trying to just protect the key. Geez. Over here. Oh, up here. Bam. And oh, this guy. Oh no. Oh oh. Bam. There you go. Nice. Good job, Murray. Good job. Got the key. Nice. You all, Murray. The Murray. But anyway, that's the end. So that's the end of this episode of Sly Cooper and the Thievish Raccoonist. In the next episode. We're going to go to the, this area, this level that's over there, you can see in the distance and stuff like that. But anyway, but anyway, I've been Green Cobra's Gaming, and I guess see you guys next time. Wow. I'm out. Bye-bye.